Okay, sixth grade, lesson 106. This is on two-step equations. So one more step than we were just doing on 105. So write this down. 3n, n could be just number, 3n yeah. minus 1 equals 20. Now, do you remember what a letter and a number next to each other means? Multiply. Very good. So this really reads... Three times, times what, what equals one. No, three times what minus one equals 20. Oh. <laughs> now, I'm going to teach you a cool So it would have to be three times what equals 21. Yes. Okay. How did you do that? Because 21 minus one is 20. Okay. So good. it has to be that. Okay. That's good. If it to equal 20 uh -huh. minus one. So what would the question mark be? Uh, three times what equals 21? I don't know. Oh, seven, right? Seven, 21. Very good. Now, I'm going to put the end back there for just a minute. Three times what minus one equals 20? Whenever you see this problem, I'm going to teach you a trick that's going to work for the rest of your life with problems because they're going to get harder and harder and harder that are like this. You're going to take the part that has the letter that you're looking for and underline it. Just for a minute. Okay? This, we need to get out of the way. Guess what happens when you move it across the equal sign? It changes from minus 1 to plus 1. Okay. Isn't that cool? So it would be 3 times n equals 20 plus 1? Well, almost. So What are you we, saying? You're right, you're right. So we took this minus 1 and brought it over there. So this is done, which is good because now we have the 3n by itself. So now it can say 3 times what equals, what is 20 plus 1? 21. Right, which is kind of what you had said already. Yeah. But this is kind of the mathematical way of doing it. Okay? And so then we know that n is 7. seven. Or we could have done 21 divided by 3. But then it doesn't get minus 1. Then the answer will be 21, right? Right. It's still going to be the same answer. Because you did the exact same thing in your head. You said, well, we have a minus 1, but it's really going to be a 20 plus 1. You basically did the same thing. We just did it mathematically, drawing it. So what's the answer, though? 7. N is 7. So you'll say N uh, is 7. I get seven, it. 7. Because this is you. the N. Yeah, I, I, so I three forgot times that 20 what? was the uh -huh. question. Okay, let's try another one. Okay. Ready? 3n plus 1 equals 16. Okay. 3n plus 1 equals 16. Now, this is what I want to get by myself, by itself. So, so it's this... 3 times what equals... Is going to move 17? over there. 17... Time yeah, out. And it's Plus just one that. becomes, when you take it all across the equal sign, it has to change. It'd be minus one. Minus one. So then we got rid of it. So it's three times what equals 16. 16 minus one. Yeah, it's 15. 15. So now it's three times n equals 15. Yeah. So what would n be? Five. Yeah. Right? Yep. All right. One more. Ready? 2x minus 1 equals 9. Do it by yourself. Okay. Here, let me write it out. 2x minus 1 equals 9. You at home do it as well. You move this over here. Yes, come and do it and show what you did. Okay. Move this over here. Do my, wait, plus one. Okay. Which I know makes it that. 10. Good. Good job. Plus one. And then two, which would be 10, so it would be two times what equals 10, which would be five. Very good. Okay. Hopefully at home you got that as well. Okay. He took the minus one that was right here. And when you bring it across the equal signs, it changes it to plus 1. It's opposite. And so then it becomes 2x equals, what's 9 plus 1? 10. And then we know it's 2 times what equals 10. 
And we know that two times five equals 10. Good job. That is lesson 106.